All right, what's up, y'all? I'm out here with my brother Chow, my, my boy Peter, and my dad. We're doing some small gang hunting today. Brought the 22 Magnum by Remington. Let's see if we can get some squirrel for you guys to see. So, Peter's the cameraman. He's behind the camera. So, it's a beautiful day out, like 50 degrees. So, let's go get something. Let's go. Twenty-two Magnum, the largest size twenty-two cartridge. Not your long rifle, not your regular twenty-two. Yeah. Total metal jacket. Should go straight through the squirrel. Shouldn't damage the squirrel too bad. I'll show you guys how I do squirrel hunt. I gotta turn this off. Hello? No good. When you're hunting, make sure you turn off your phone. Because you're gonna scare away squirrels. Good tracks. That's a deer scoop. Here's great. Mm -hmm. So you kind of buck, you know. He's letting you know that he's here. Letting other deer know that he's here, and then, you know, he plays with his antlers. So walk slowly, and quietly, and be very stealthy. And at the same time, opening up your ears so you can hear any kind of any kind of noise, right? So the kind of squirrels are. They're searching for acorns, they're moving on the ground a lot. It's, better, it's a safe cover for them. They feel safe more on the ground than up in the tree. The tree's more wide open, so they're more afraid of hawks and they're a little more cautious when they're up in the tree. But on the ground, they feel a little bit more comfortable, so we've got to keep our ears open. Searching for nuts. So whenever, whenever you feel like you're walking too loud, you know, you hear all these punches, and you don't want to spook the animal, whether it's deer or squirrel, and you kind of, you're stalking them, you want to move with the wind. You know, as soon as you hear the wind blowing the leaves up in the tree, you hear the nice sound, you want to move with that wind. So your sound that you're, when you're stepping on the leaves, it's going to blend in with that sound. So in that way, you know, you're a little more stealthier, you feel, it sounds a little more quiet, right? So. But when the wind stops, you stop. And then when the wind moves, then you move. Alright? So now you kind of hear a little breeze in the background. A little, you can hear the leaves up in the tree, right? Peter, can you hear that? Yeah. So you want to move with that sound, you know? When that sound stops, or that wind calms down, you want to stop. That's uh, just a little tip. <clears throat> Alright guys, so Peter and I, we made it to the spot. There's a lot of oak trees here. It's a little bit open, but last year I saw a lot of squirrels here. I didn't get a chance to see them, so this year, let's we'll see if we get lucky and have them come out and get a couple shots for you guys. So, uh, it's about what time, Peter? Like 2? I think it's like 2 o'clock, so I'll check the phone here real quick. Yep, it's 2.04. So, let's see. Maybe around 4. They'll start coming out. Anything. If we want to listen for the sound, you know, the sound of the leaves moving, we're just looking for any kind of movement up in the tree. And you want to use that, that sky background, that white background, to kind of help you detect any kind of movement up in the tree, the tree limb. So that's kind of key right there. Vision and hearing. We're going to be a deer tonight. You gotta listen, pay attention. So let's see how it goes. Stay tuned. Yeah, right now we're hunting for squirrels out here in the woods so hopefully we'll get a squirrel get some squirrel come by us and get some shots down but all right guys we'll see you more later all right you want to know if it's a big buck he has look right there there's a rub right there fresh rub let's go take a look close look
see him he's just standing here about how to find a date book in this tree right here. Now this, this is what you call a rub. He's definitely here. It's a nice buck. Alright guys, we just saw one and um, we just missed a shot. Then they're out of here right now. Um, hopefully we get one or a couple of for really but so far it is salty um, that's crazy that's crazy it went past us land right there I know no, it was cause right there when he stopped there right there you got you got a shot on right there. That was a bad shot, don't shoot it like that. You can't wait till it gets a little higher. Yeah, that's a bad shot. Hey, who's over there? You hear that? Yeah. He's he's somewhere right there. It's been about two hours now. I saw a squirrel. Shot one probably like 15 yards away. But I was a little shaky. So I didn't get that guy. But, you know, I saw one, another one, right after that one. After the shot, it went down. Squirrels are highly pressured, so we gotta be, you know, consistent with it. Can't be shooting around for fun. And, you know, one shot, one kill. That's all. It's, that's all. It's what it's about. So, we'll see what's next. We got two more hours left. Uh, hopefully, they come up. Down here is a little too thick, so we want to take any shot down here. Once they get up above, that's when we want to take the shot. It's, it's a much clearer opening. Otherwise, down here is too thick. So, it's a little windy. Probably like eight. 10 miles per hour but Peter Peter and I were here camping at this spot there's a little dead stream right here and one just came up here as soon as we took that first shot it came right here and one came straight at us and it hurt us and went back so it's a good spot Let's see how it goes Took a first shot. Squirrel's on the other side. It was a little windy. Did a little distress call. And yeah, the squirrel was on the other side basically and I had to shift a little bit to my right and there he was. So right that big tree right there, so let's go get it. Let's go. Squirrel. Oh. Man. Let's see what we put on. 
22 Magnum full metal jacket put the ball right straight, straight through them that's the entrance right here I went through back, the back of the leg here went through this way went out this way so right from the side here exit it right through here 22 Magnum man y'all gotta try it it's a little bit loud but I think it's better than the 17 not too not too hard not too soft so it's like right in the middle yeah nice little squirrel let's get it we're gonna move closer to where my brother was by the cemetery so just make it more interesting let's go These are milkweed. It tells you where the wind's going. So it's free. And uh it works so I'll show you a little demo. It's kind of like this. It tells you where the wind's going, see? Oh. <laughs> of course don't you use your mouth, but what you know what you do is like this. See? It tells you where the wind direction is going. Pretty cool. Let's go. Alright guys. We're losing daylight. It's about 5.30. Sun's going down low, so end of video here. Got one squirrel, so we didn't get skunked, so that's good. Peter and I, we did great. It was good, we saw a lot of squirrel, but it was too windy and it was just not, it didn't give us any good open shot, except this one, so we were lucky to have this one. So let's go back to the car and uh, we'll see you guys next time. The guys got skunked, except Peter and I. Hey, Charles. I saw at least like, what, four or five? <laughs> Hey, child, what happened, bro? Oh, the gun's yeah, miscited, dude. Because I accidentally hit it. Mm.